So the strap is really simple, and for that, you will need our two lobster clasps and some more cord. We are going to be using this as our guide just so we know how long our strap should be. About nine and a half inches. All right, so we want to do a cord that is nine and a half inches. I'm gonna put this here just for reference. I'm gonna grab my cord and begin to make our, and I have an eye cord tutorial on my channel. So I'm gonna speed through this part because we, we've used the eye cord now in a few tutorials. Um, and I will link it down below. Once you've completed your nine and a half inch eye cord, you will then attach the second lobster clasp to the unfinished end. And we'll do that by attaching each loop one by one to our lobster clasp. So I'm gonna quickly demonstrate how to do that. And then we'll finish off and weave our ends and then your strap will be complete. So what I'm doing is drawing the tail through the first loop. And now it's the first loop is attached. And so what you do next is take your tail and bring it through first through the center of the second loop. And now you'll take this loop and insert it through your lobster clasp, pulling it snug as you go. And then finally, you'll draw it through your last loop. And then insert it into your lobster clasp. And so before you finish off, you just wanna tighten it to make sure it's the tightness that you want. And if everything is to your satisfaction, then you will leave your, your end. So what I do is take my hook and insert it underneath one of the loops. I will pull it through, pull through a loop, and then I'll pull the end through that loop to create a knot. And pull it tight. And so here's our knot to make sure it's nice and secure. And so now I'll leave my ends. do is actually make our closure using our three millimeter cord. So last minute addition. We're going to make like a bobble kind of stitch with our cord to attach here as a button of sorts and then we're going to attach the other side to go around our button. So first what I'm going to do is measure a little bit just so I have enough to tie it to secure it to our purse. And then I'm gonna make a slip knot. All right. So now I'm going to chain two. And now I'm gonna make my little standalone bobble stitch. So I'm going to wrap over, insert my hook, yarn over, pull up, yarn over, insert my hook, yarn over, pull up. And that's enough for me to create a bobble. And then I'm going to yarn over, pull through all of my stitches, and then I'm gonna go back to that stitch and just slip stitch it. So this creates my little button that I'm gonna to use to attach to my bag. I'm just gonna pull this cord all the way through. Pull it nice 
nice and tight on both sides so that it's a nice little button here. And then I'm gonna cut just enough cord here to secure it to the other side. I'm gonna drag this through over here. Okay, so here is our little button that we're gonna attach to the top of our bag. And you simply try to find our, where our seam is, and then I'm gonna attach it right here. So take in your hook, insert it inside, pull it through, and do it on both sides of the place where you want to attach it. And then tie a double knot. this side we have our button and just here's how far it stands up off of our it's pretty low profile so now we want to create the part that goes around the button and attaches on this side so what I'm gonna do is measure out some cord just to see how much I would need to have something that would pull it close and then we're gonna secure it in here so I think that's pretty good it pulls it pretty closed and so I'm just gonna take my scissors again and cut some cord. And now I'm going to attach it while it's still around it, just so I can get it to the snugness that I want. So, taking my hook again, insert it through the inside of our bag. Pull it through, do the same thing, oops. Do the same thing on this side. Insert it and pull it through. And don't worry if it slips off, because you can always go back and re-secure it just to see how it feels. Mm, I think that's tight enough, so now I'm gonna go through and tie a knot to secure it. So I'm gonna take my two strings and just tie a knot. And I, I won't tie it completely tight so that I can go back and check to make sure it's the length that I need it to be. So I'm just checking really quickly to make sure everything's good. I think that's good. So I'm gonna go back and tighten it up. So I'm gonna make it just a little bit tighter. It's not as tight as I want it to be. Making sure it doesn't come too far in. Just a little bit and then tighten it back up. There we go. Nice and tight. Now when I pull it around, it is nice and snug. And that's my closure. So I'm gonna weave all my ends to clean this bad boy up and then I'll come back and show you the finished product. So here's our finished bag, our strap, and our other strap. The only piece we have left over is this this D-ring and if you wanted to make a tassel to attach here or on the chain as decoration, then you could do so. But I've decided for this one, I'm not gonna do a tassel. So all you have to do is attach your straps to your D-rings. And you have a little handbag or you can attach a longer strap to your D-rings and you have a crossbody bag. And so there you have it. Today's tutorial is complete. I hope you enjoyed and I can't wait to see what you all create and how creative you get. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to drop them in the comments below. And I hope you have a wonderful holiday season with your families. Stay safe, take care, and I'll see you in the new year.